Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Looks like we are going to be a little less hot, perhaps, as the frontal boundary moves through the valley in the wee overnight hours. We can expect that uh, push to kind of bring in more mild air across deep south Texas. That will be nice since we broke three record highs for Monday. Futurecast takes you through Tuesday with good stout east breeze for the afternoon. Otherwise, we're going to wait for Wednesday to see the winds turn back out of the northeast. Once that front pushes through, low pressure will develop along that frontal boundary and kind of help push in a northeast wind on the back side as it all ejects toward Florida and the southeastern U.S. So on the back side, by Wednesday, we get the northeast breeze and we get just enough energy and moisture in there to kick off a shower or two and keep temperatures much cooler with that cloud cover. Saturday, another frontal boundary coming on down promises to develop clouds, bring with it a chance for showers, albeit the best chance will be well north of us, and also bring in cooler temperatures for the weekend, that is next weekend. Seven day bears that out. You've got the front moving through quite, you know, fairly soon. And then on the back side of the front, Tuesday, not so much of a problem. An east wind, partly cloudy skies, but then by Wednesday, the northeast wind and the increased moisture and energy roaming through the area helps to squeeze out additional clouds and showers. Let's hope for the showers. The more the merrier. And then you have temperatures that will be regulated in the upper 70s. We bounce back to the end of the week, and then that next front comes through on Saturday, dropping temperatures and hopefully a few showers to go along with it. That's a look at your